All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the build up to the 350 million download celebration at the end of this month is officially underway. Earlier this morning, both the Global and JP Twitter pages posted this image of the uh, Majin Buu's sealed ball or his little cocoon thing and basically confirmed that the upcoming celebration is going to be Boo Saga themed. Now, let's be honest, we've known for a while now that it was going to be a Boo Saga themed celebration this year, but I know there were some people out there who were still holding on to that tiny shred of hope that maybe it would surprise us with a GT themed celebration. But uh, nah, it's going to be Majin Buu themed. I mean, it's official now with this image. And uh, even though we knew from leakers like Dokener before that it was probably going to be this. Um, it wasn't official. It wasn't confirmed until this image was posted. Now, as far as a GT theme celebration goes, um, that could still happen maybe for next year or the sixth anniversary. I don't really know, but I, I'll be honest. I did predict a couple months ago that this 350 million downloads would be GT themed because Back then, I was like, you know, we really need a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, a new Omega Shenron. It's been a while. I mean, actually, the 4 year was GT themed, right? But it's been a while since we've had those characters at least, right? So it's time for an update. So I was predicting a Dual Dokkan Fest with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron. But clearly, I was wrong. I can admit that, so that's my bad. But uh, expect a lot of Boo Saga themed stuff over the coming weeks on both Global and JP, obviously a dual Dokkan Fest in part one and then another non-Dokkan Fest LR in part two. Now at this point in time, we don't know what the summonable units are gonna be for the celebration. Of course, we can speculate and I think that a Kid Buu is pretty much um, a guarantee at this point because we don't have a single LR Kid Buu or really any LR Buu like a legit LR Boo at least, right? I know we have Hercule with Boo in it. We have Majub, but that's not the same, right? So I think some kind of an LR Boo, probably Kid Boo, maybe Boo Han, we'll see, is guaranteed. And then as far as the other side of the Dual Dokkan Fest, I think it's going to be a Super Vegito. I just feel like from a business perspective, it makes a lot of sense, right? Like Bandai, if they want to make the most money, if they want to generate the most hype, Super Vegito makes the most sense. I know some people have disputed that. They're like, it doesn't make sense given the trend of Dual Dokkan Fest over the past couple of years, and I get that. I get that, but I just think Super Vegito makes the most sense from a business perspective. People will summon for a Vegito or a Gogeta regardless of whether or not it like follows a trend or whatever, right? So I think it's gonna be Vegito and Kid Buu for the Dual Dokkan Fest. And then for the part two LR, I and mean, we've got a couple options, but uh, we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so nothing confirmed for the Dual Dokkan Fest or anything like that, but there is an interesting clue um, from these posts on Twitter uh, that, you know, could indicate what's coming for the Global versus JP campaign, like the units that we're getting for the Global versus JP campaign. So this is the Global side, and we have this image of the sealed ball. There's also the JP post, and as you can see, they're the exact same image, right? So there's no difference there, but for the message, like the text that they put, there is a bit of a difference. Okay, so for global, it's like a little laugh slash giggle. It's he he he, and um, it's most likely referring to Bobbity. And then for the JP side here, it's a what, like an exclamation of surprise with three dots and a question mark. And a lot of people are speculating that this is a reference to Gohan. So there's a chance that the two new units coming for the Global vs. JP campaign, which happens every single year for these download celebrations, is going to be a Bobbity and a Gohan. And most likely the winner of this Global vs. JP campaign will get the Gohan, the loser will get the Bobbity, right? And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, like I said, it's something that happens every single year. There's going to be different kinds of missions or different, uh, you know, uh, different milestones um, that people on Global and JP are going to try to reach and whoever, I, I don't think milestones is actually the right word, um, different objectives, let's say, right, that Global and JP are trying to 
you know, both um, work towards, and it's things like, you know, how many characters can be awakened, or are Dokkan awakened, how many, uh, how much stamina is spent, um, how much Zenny is collected, and so on and so forth, stuff like that. And whichever side has, you know, the higher number in a certain category wins that category, and at the end of the campaign, whichever side has more wins, will get the, you know, winner character or the winner card, and the loser side will get the other one, right? But for the most part, they're the same unit, it's just a different character, but they have like the same passive, same leader skill, uh, different links obviously, but that's kind of the idea. So the year before, uh, for 300 million, we got a Cell and Hercule, and the year before that, it was a Final Form Frieza and a Super Saiyan Goku, and... Uh, you know, so on and so forth. So that this year, it does seem like they're trying to hint at a Bobbity and a Gohan. Could be different. You know, there's nothing confirmed. But once again, none of this stuff is really confirmed. But um, that's what people are speculating. So I just wanted to make sure you guys were, were aware of that. And uh, of course, we don't have the V Jump leak for this month yet. Which everybody is sitting on the edge of their seat to to see, right? Because that should that should reveal some more information about this upcoming celebration, but I wouldn't get like overly hyped for it, if I'm being honest, because they're most likely not going to reveal any information about the Dual Zokan Fest or any like big events or anything like that. I mean, they could, they could, but uh, if I remember correctly, for the most part, they usually try to keep the leaks and the reveals pretty tame for these major celebrations, because I think they actually want people to be like genuinely surprised when the stuff drops. Um, sometimes data leakers will get the information out earlier, but for V-Jump itself, I don't think we're gonna get anything too crazy, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the video, guys. We got the leaks, we got the, not the leaks, the teasers on the official uh, Tokon Twitter pages, and uh, we now know it's going to be a Majin Buu themed celebration, even though we knew for a while now, but it's officially confirmed by Bandai slash Akatsuki themselves. And uh, for now, that's all we know until the B-Jump leak, com leak comes out. Hopefully, there will be some new information that we didn't know about revealed there. But uh, one way or another, or another, I'll make sure you guys are uh, filled in. Okay, so that's all I gotta say in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below, actually, if you uh, have any speculation or any guesses for what the upcoming Duel Duel Confest will be. Do you think it's going to be Vegito and Kid Buu or do you think it's going to be something else? And also, what do you think the Part 2 LR will be as well? Okay, but that's it guys. That's all I got to say. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out